my dear students let me discuss the graphs of almost all the previous year questions in NEET and some questions from JE mains also now you can just see this one these are the four graphs which are representing position time graphs uh, they are also called as displacement time graphs okay displacement time graphs here in this displacement time graph, if you want to find out the velocity, it is nothing but tan theta, which is nothing but slope here. Slope of the graph gives you velocity. And the position time graph, which is showing positive acceleration, positive acceleration. Let me go for the first graph. If you observe this line, this line is greater than, this line is greater than 90 degrees, it is greater than 90 degrees. That means when theta is greater than 90, when theta is greater than like tan 120, let us imagine tan 120, tan 120. So tan 120 means what happens, you know, if the value is going to be negative here. That means velocity is negative. And it is a straight line, angle is constant. That means velocity is also constant. Two things you'll observe here. Velocity is negative and constant. There is no change in the velocity. Because it is a straight line. That means first graph will represent the story of the first graph is doesn't have any acceleration. Let us deal with the story of the second graph. What is this story of the second graph says? You know this is theta. Here if theta is 30 degrees, let us imagine here theta is 60 degrees. That means as the graph is parabola, angle is increasing. Theta is increasing and you know V is equal to tan theta. Theta increases. V also increases. When there is increase in the velocity in the form of a parabola, this graph kyaola. It This graph says that velocity is increasing. Velocity is increasing constantly. Then what happens? Velocity is not constant. Velocity is increasing. Velocity is increasing uniformly. That means there is an acceleration. Acceleration is present. Acceleration is present in this because velocity is increasing. Theta is increasing. You have to just observe one point. What is theta explaining there? If you see the theta, that's enough. See here theta is constant, here theta is increasing, velocity is increasing, when velocity increases, like train, when a train is moving from station to some other place, its velocity increases, uh, there is an acceleration, that to constant acceleration, positive acceleration, this is a positive acceleration, that means your answer is going to be correct, V is going to be the correct option, let us see what is going to happen to C, so at this place, let us imagine 60 degrees, at this place 30 degrees, that means this graph represents a decrease in velocity and you know velocity is equal to tan theta. Theta is decreasing means velocity is also decreasing. When a train is approaching the station, you represent the train as a this graph. Velocity decreases. Velocity decreases means it is not constant. It is having a deceleration. So this is a case of deacceleration or deceleration we can call it as. You can just see here, this is also a displacement time graph. In displacement time graph, you know just why you are repeating again and again, velocity is equal to tan theta, c theta there, c theta there, theta is going to be constant. When theta is constant, velocity is also constant. When velocity is constant, uh, there is no acceleration. It is called as uniform velocity. It is called as uniform velocity. Hope you have understood this first problem. Let us go for the second one. In this case, there are two graphs with the different angles. The ratio of the velocities is asking. He is asking us to find out the ratio of respective velocities. 30 degrees first, 45 degrees second. I just told you, velocity is nothing but tan theta. This can be taken as tan theta 1. Tan theta 1 is tan 30. And tan theta is, tan theta is nothing, theta 2 is nothing but tan 45. Tan 45 is going to be 1. So 1 by root 2, 1 by root 3 divided by 1. So your option is C option. Your option is C option. So the story of this graph is just you have to find out the slope. And you know slope is nothing but tan theta. So tan th first is 30. Tan 30 means it's nothing but 1 by root 3. Tan 45 is going to be 1. That's it. Very simple. Let us go for the next graph. A particle shows displacement time graph is asking us to find out the point among these three points. A, four points are there. A, B, C and D. Among these four points, 
What is the point which is having the maximum, what is it? Maximum instantaneous velocity. Anything you consider, you just remember one thing, velocity is nothing but tan theta. If I draw a tangent at this place, this is an angle. If I draw a tangent at this place, this is an angle. If I draw a tangent at this place, okay? Tangent at this place, this is an angle. This is an angle. This is an angle. If you draw a tangent at this place, this is an angle. Among these all four angles, which is going to be maximum? You can just see and tell that the axis, the angle is maximum for C. So tan theta is maximum for C. That means maximum instantaneous velocity is at this position C, not B, just C. Maximum angle. From here, angle is going to open. Again, it is going to close. So here it has opened a maximum. So C is going to be an option. That means B is the correct answer. Hope you have enjoyed this one. Now let us go for the next graph. So the displacement time graph is moving a particle. The instantaneous velocity is negative. That means you have to find out the negative slope here, which is going to show the negative slope. Here if you draw a tangent positive, here it is horizontal, here it is downwards, again here it is upwards. So downwards means the slope is negative. Slope is decreasing. Whenever the slope is decreasing, it represents a negative, uh, negative velocity here. That's it. So your option is going to be E and E is going to be the D question. D is the correct option because E is having negative slope. Why negative slope? Because it is making theta with the time axis. Theta is greater than 90. Whenever theta is greater than 90, let us imagine tan 120. So theta exceeds 90 means it is going to be negative. That you have to remember. That's it. Let us go for the next one. So here, which of the following curve is not representing the motion in one dimension? Only one logic you remember. At any of the graphs you consider, at a particular time it should not have two velocities. So if you take in all the points, it is having only one velocity here. Here also at all the times it is having different different velocity, but single velocity, only one velocity. Here also at different different positions, velocity is going to be one. But here if you take this time, there are two velocities, velocity v1 and velocity v2. How can it be? A point where a body has two velocities at the same time. Your car, if you are seeing at 10 o'clock, exactly at 10 o'clock, can it have two velocities? No, never. So this is the graph and does not represent motion in one dimension. This is the graph which is not representing the motion in one dimension because at particular time it is having two velocities which is not possible. It is an impossible graph if it is a position time graph. It is an impossible graph. Let me go for this next one. The same as the previous one, but a little bit simple. Uh, he has done a drama here. What is the drama here? Let me see. So he is asking velocity of A by velocity of B. That means tan theta A and tan theta B. So tan theta A, this is tan 45 here, but you have to find out the slope the angle should make with the time axis. That is x-axis. How much angle it is going to make with an x-axis that gives you a slope. But here angle is given with the y-axis. Never ever will consider this one. You have to consider this one only. Okay. I think this is an acceleration graph. Yeah. Velocity angle graph gives you acceleration here. So this is an acceleration. Acceleration gives you slope of the graph. Which is nothing but tan 45. And uh, this total angle is 90 degrees. Means if you subtract 40 from 90, the remaining angle is going to be 50 degrees. So your answer is tan 50 degrees. So tan 25, this is tan 25, and B is taken with the x-axis or that is time axis, it is going to be 50. So tan 25 degrees by tan 50. So that is the ratio here. Tan 25 by tan 50. And the first option is going to be a correct answer. Now you can just see the graph, a typical graph it is. You have to uh, match the two graphs, it's a simple graph actually. Choose the correct answer from the uh, options given below. So first one, so here position time graph, it's a velocity time graph. You just remember one thing. So in position time graph, uh, velocity is nothing but tan theta, slope gives you velocity. In the velocity time graph, acceleration is going to be tan theta here. That's it, it's simple logic you have to remember. 
here tan theta represents velocity, slope of the graph represents velocity, here slope of the graph represents acceleration because it is a VT graph, it is an XT graph or displacement time graph, whatever it may be. So simple. Let us see here what is going to happen. So first one, you can just see that the theta is going to increase, means velocity is increasing, but this graph represents velocity is constant, so it doesn't match. So here velocity is increasing, means it is having acceleration, acceleration is present in that. And here VT graph, it is theta, tan theta, theta is constant, acceleration is present here also because theta is increasing, sorry, theta is constant, that means acceleration is present here, here also acceleration is present, here also acceleration is present. Now let us see this graph, in this graph, you know, position is coming closer to the origin, a car is approaching to you as the time passes, that is the meaning of this graph, if something comes closer to you, that means it is arriving towards the origin, so this origin, time is passing but position is coming closer to the origin, you can just see downwards, it is coming downwards here. What does it represent here now? It represents the velocity is going to be negative here, that means first option can match with this, second option will match with this. Third one, what do you understand here? This is angle theta which is less than 90, this is angle theta which is greater than 90. That means this first case represents when the slope is upwards, it represents positive velocity. When the slope is downwards, it represents negative velocity in the position time graph. The same in an acceleration time graph, velocity time graph you observe. Here, this constant, theta is constant. Here also theta is greater than 90, but it is constant. Here, slope is a straight line. That means it is having positive velocity. And the two positive uniform velocity. This is negative uniform velocity. Velocity is going to be constant. That means this graph will match with here. This is positive velocity. This is negative velocity. Now let us go for the B graph. It is representing constant velocity. It is representing constant velocity because theta is constant. It's a straight line. Straight line means the theta is constant. Velocity is also constant. Velocity is uniform. That means acceleration is not present. When velocity is constant, there is no acceleration. A body goes with a constant velocity. There is an acceleration in that. So this is also, here theta is zero as it is making zero degrees with the time axis. Acceleration is equal to tan zero, which is nothing but zero. So fourth option will match with this. Hope you have understood this graph. Let us go for the next graph here. So in this next graph, you have to join all the three graphs, which, all, which of all the four options gives you the correct three series. So if you observe first one, Position is increasing and it is not a straight line. That means if you make an angle theta here, theta is increasing means velocity is increasing. Velocity is increasing here. Velocity is increasing. Now in the velocity time graph also, if you observe velocity is increasing, yeah, velocity is increasing here in this case. Okay. Here also velocity is in the velocity time graph also v is equal to uh, sorry a is equal to tan theta. That means here also velocity is increasing. Theta, theta is present here, acceleration is tan theta, theta is constant, that means this also having constant acceleration. This is a parabolic path, so V is equal to tan theta, theta is increasing, velocity is increasing, and in a parabolic path it is increasing, that means acceleration is constant, it is having uniform acceleration. Here also velocity is, acceleration is equal to tan theta. In a velocity time graph, if you find out the slope, it is giving you acceleration, as theta is constant, acceleration is constant, means uniform velocity. Here also, here also acceleration is constant because it is giving a straight line. Here also A is equal to constant because with the y axis it is going to be a straight line. Acceleration is going to be constant. I think first option is going to be a correct answer because here velocity decreases, here acceleration, here velocity is decreasing. But in these two graphs acceleration is constant means velocity is increasing here. So this also does not match. If you take this case also, here uh, it is showing uniform velocity, but here it's a, its velocity is increasing here because theta is constant here. So it uh, represents the uh, uh, velocity is constant, but here graph shows that velocity is increasing. Again, acceleration is constant, doesn't match here, this one also. So here also, here velocity is constant. Here also velocity is, what is it's showing here? Uh, theta is constant here also. That means acceleration is constant here. But where, what do you under, understand here in this graph? It is a straight line. It is showing uniform velocity because position time graph gives you velocity which is nothing but tan theta. Theta is constant means velocity is constant. Velocity is constant means acceleration is zero. Acceleration is zero. But these two graphs are giving that acceleration is constant. That means this is also not a correct match for this graph. Only the first three series is going to be the correct answer. 
hope you have enjoyed these graphs if you want some videos more videos based on this you can just call me and i'm going to make more videos thank you very much